Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is identifying polygons, okay? Polygons are closed shape figures and so they are made up of line segments. Well, there's all kinds of polygons, so we'll talk about some of them in this lesson. So we have the same common core strand for our, uh, for our, this chapter here. And then our question is, how can we use line segments and angles to make up polygons? All right, let's get started here. So um, uh, in earlier lessons, we talked about uh, line segments and angles. In this lesson, we're going to see how line segments and angles both make up polygons. So a polygon, you guys, is a closed plane shape. Okay, remember how we talked about in lesson 12.1, a closed shape or an open shape? Okay, it's made up of line. We'll talk more about that in just a minute, you guys. So if we forgot, that's okay. It's made up of line segments, okay, so no curvy paths, but line segments. So closed shape just means it starts at one spot and ends at the same spot we started. And uh, so a polygon uh, has uh, line segments that, that meet all at their endpoints, and it's a closed shape, okay? Each line segment of the polygon is called the side of the polygon, okay? So all polygons are closed shape, and not all closed shapes are polygons. For example, a circle is a closed shape, but it's not a polygon because it's not made up of line segments, okay? Anything that has a curvy path is not considered a polygon. Polygons are made up of line segments. You guys have probably heard of triangles and squares and rectangles. Those are kind of, uh, those are examples of polygons. We'll talk more about that. So here, they give us uh, some pictures here. So we're going to circle all the words that describe the shape. Okay, so um, remember, plane shapes, you guys, are a plane is this, okay? So anything drawn in this plane is a plane shape. So all of these are plane shapes, okay? So it says circle them. I'm going to put boxes around them, okay? It's easier to just to put boxes for me. My circles cover up part of the lettering right there. Okay, so let's talk about open or closed, okay? So so this one is a closed shape. It's not a polygon, but this one and this one's an open shape because there's not an inside and an outside, okay? We didn't start and end at the same spot. Ends here when we started here. This circle starts and ends at the same spot. So if it has an inside and an outside, it's called a closed shape. So this is closed, this is open, closed. This is closed because there's an inside and an outside. Here's the inside. And here's the outside, okay? So um, so uh, those guys are closed, and that one's an open shape. Okay, so the curved paths are like, this one has a curved path. This one has some curved paths. So does this one. This one has some segments also, but this one, there's some segments here and here. Okay, segments are, are straight lines that have endpoints right here. So that's a segment, that's a segment. So this one's curved, this one's curved, this one's a curved path right there, okay? And then line segments, which one have line segments? This one does not, this one does not. These are line segments, so think of straight little pieces of lines. Okay, and here's a couple of line segments here. So these guys have line segments right here, okay? Now polygons, you guys, the polygon, there's only one. It's this guy right here. A polygon is a closed shape figure that has an inside and an outside, okay? And it's made up of line segments, okay? All right, so we're going to talk more about these polygons as we get more into this chapter right here. So, all right, so let's go ahead. So fill in the blank with sometimes, always, or never. So polygons are blank plane shapes, okay? Well, from Lesson 12.1, you guys, a plane shape is any shape on a flat surface, Okay, so it's formed by points, lines, curves. It could be formed by line segments. So polygons are always plane shapes right there. They're always, okay? And polygons are, are um, uh, well, right here it says um, uh, it could it's a plane shape. It's formed by, well, let's get into open and closed right here. So a polygon is a, is a closed plane shape. So polygons are always closed plane shapes right there. That was from that lesson. And then polygons are never open shapes because it says a polygon is a closed shape. So this one's going to be, uh, it, the polygon is never a, an open shape right there. And plane shapes are, are um, uh, always, are they always, sometimes, or never polygons? Or is a plane shape uh, always a polygon? Is it sometimes a polygon or is it never a polygon? Well, it could be a circle, so it wouldn't be a, a polygon because it's made up of line segments. It could be just a curvy line that doesn't have an inside or an outside. So that one's going to be a sometimes right there. So sometimes it is, okay? All right. So now we're going to talk about the number of sides 
of a polygon has and the name of the polygon. Okay, so the first one, the first polygon we can make with the least number of sides is a triangle. So triangles have three sides and it has three angles. So the same amount of sides and angles are the same. So one, two, three, and there's three angles in here. Here's three examples. There's all kinds of examples to make a, a triangle. I can make kind of a, a goofy one right here. Here's this one's a kind of a goofy triangle right here. I can make that really long over there. So there's a triangle right there. It has three sides right there. All right, so four-sided figures um, are called quadrilaterals. You might be thinking of squares and rectangles. Those are just some examples of quadrilaterals. So there's a, um, there's, it just has to have four sides, and it has to be, if it's a polygon, then it has to be a closed shape made up of line segments. So all of those are some examples of quadrilaterals. Five sides are called pentagons. So anything that it's a closed shape made up of segments that has five sides, okay? So that, those are examples of pentagons. Six sides are called hexagons, okay? So any six-sided figure is called a hexagon. So just count up the sides and that'll tell you what it is, okay? So let's, if we didn't know, I'm just going to count. So we'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This has six sides, so it's called a hexagon. We'll start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a hexagon. This is also a hexagon, okay? Seven sides we're not going to really talk about, not till you guys get to, um, uh, I think, uh, seventh or eighth grade, I think, you guys. I know we talk about it in high school and ninth grade, but it's, so we're not going to, I'm not going to draw those because we're not going to talk about them, but, um, and it's not listed in your book, so, but I thought I'd tell you anyways. It's called a heptagon, okay? Eight sides we will talk about. Eight sides are called octagons. Here's some examples that so just make sure it's a closed shape and there's eight sides made up of line segments. No curvy segments because it wouldn't be a polygon. Nine is the same as seven. We won't talk about that till later, till you're in middle school or high school, okay? So nine is called a nonagon. Ten, we'll talk about that, a decagon. So any ten-sided figure is a decagon. So just keep going and make ten-sided figure. And they're polygons as long as it's closed and you make them up of line segments, no curvy segments, okay? And then um, uh, there is no name for an eleven side. The uh, 12 side is called a dodecagon, and think do is 2, and we're not going to talk about those either until uh, middle school or high school, so we'll get those. Anything after that is called a, uh, an n-gon, so an 11 sided figure is called an 11-gon, a 30 sided figure would be called a 30-gon, those are kind of hard to draw. Alright, so how many sides does a stop sign have, okay? So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 8 sides to the stop sign. How many angles? It's the same as how many sides, but we'll count them. We'll do this one right here. Start right here and we'll just go around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so it has 8 angles. Okay, so what's this in the shape of? Well, okay, let's go back to our definition. So 8 sides, 8 sides is octagon, and the octopus has has um, uh, eight, 8 legs on it. That's why it's called an octopus, okay? So this is called an octagon because it's a polygon right there, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense. And speaking of polygons, there we go.